This is your DJ, Mon Loco from townlook.com radio. Who's Festival? We are Festival. <laughs> Actually, uh, Festival goes back in the 80s. Uh, they took a break for about 13 years uh, with uh, my brothers, Eddie and Danny Sanchez. Uh, we brought back the band. Uh, I think I'm the only one that's left from it when it first started 13, 14 years ago. Um, then we brought in uh, Robert, sang with us for a while. Then he went to Texas, came back, so we brought him back. Uh, Rainey's been with us for Four years. three years, so first time we've had a female vocalist. Um, Andres here came from us from uh, Yama de Amor. Um, always awesome to have him. I, I always wanted him in our group, so when the opportunity came up, it came up. Um, Carlos, who, like I said, is the youngest one. Carlos was originally a bass player. I met him in Las Vegas at the uh, Tejano uh, Festival Convention, and uh, we were in need of a drummer, and Carlos came and he told me, he goes, hey, I can play drums. So here he is playing drums for us. He's come a long way. Tommy and I go back, oh, years and years and years. Tommy was on the road. Finally settled in in Tucson, so Tommy uh, became our full-time keyboard player. Danny's uh, probably the one that's been with me, what, five years, Danny? So uh, Danny helped me uh, start up this band along with uh, Robert. So um, one way or another, uh, I knew nothing of, of Carlos Andres, um, but being musicians, I knew who they were, and so we decided, hey, let's let's do something. Between then and now, we've we've had uh, different uh, players, but um, this core right here has been with me probably the longest here since we restarted Festival. So, so uh, I love playing with these guys. You know, these guys are my family. You know, they're they're my brothers. Um, so I, I wouldn't have it any other way. And a couple, three years ago, we decided to bring in another vocalist. So. Uh, we all decided, well, let's try a female vocalist, and I mean, you heard her. She's got some chops. With Robert, Robert in, and and uh, Rainey, I'm not being biased, but I honestly think we have two of the top female uh, vocalists here in, in Tucson. So, Robert, I know you've been at the the Tejano Idol out in, uh, is it Dallas? Was it Dallas? It was in Austin. Austin, Texas, yeah. So, they have a, it's kind of like an American Idol, but it was called Tejano Idol. Um, I took third place, which was pretty cool. So it was kind of an honor to to be a part of that and to be able to you know be heard and stuff like that. So, um, but now I'm back in Tucson. I love it here. It's my hometown. Uh, miss my family and friends out here. So, especially you do. <laughs> so how how can you correlate that experience with with it now, and especially with now you have a vocalist, uh, um, I guess a partner. Um, it's amazing. So we have a great dynamic. Um, she has such a strong voice. She's an amazing singer. Um, I love singing with her. Um, so we, we now we're starting to pick songs that are basically, you know, duets that we get to do together. So um, it's awesome to be able to share that experience with her. Um, so we're just lucky. We're very lucky to, to be able to be a part of, of something like that. So Rainy, what is one of your favorite uh, duets that you like to do with um, Robert? Definitely Tennessee Whiskey with I'd Rather Go Blind. Can you sing a little chorus about that, with that? We'd like to, but we just sang right now. It's going to cost you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 what we'd have chorus. to do, the chorus. chorus. Your recipe is Tennessee Whiskey. Your recipe is strawberry wine. Dang, there you guys go. You guys got to see Festival. Okay, so Andreas, so how does it feel to be with a Festival man? Feels pretty good. I've been helping them for a while, you know, when he needed to fill in guitar player, and finally I became part of the family. Yeah. And you, Carlos, now that you're playing uh, drums, what do you think? Because uh, Festival has a lot of dynamic. It's not just straight to handle, but it has a little Festival feel. Right. Um, when I did start, it was really... I guess you could say shaky. I was really like, I would beat myself up. Rick was really the one that would say, hey man, you can do it, you can do it, just push yourself, push yourself. And after about five years, I, I started in August of 2018. I believe that was when I started with them. And I just kept learning and study whatever he told me to study and all the songs, well, I'm here. Actually, a lot I'm of glad. the dynamic that we had is because of this guy. 
Um, he's powerful. He was a bass player, but and he's a powerful bass player, but he's also an even more powerful uh, drummer. I, guess, so. I try. <laughs> Thank you. So let's go over to Danny. Um, so we got we got the bass right here, and you've been with the festival the longest. So what has your experience been like? It's been awesome. This is a great band. This is a great group of people. Talented, talented musicians right here. So I have fun playing every gig we play. It's, it's, it's just, can't put it into words. It's just so much fun. And then uh, now we have the keyboards, and you all know Tejano needs keyboards. We need a little percussions in there, a little, a little highs in there. So how does it feel to, I mean, because you know the, the for Tejano, you, you, you need that keyboard sound. You need that little high sound. So what do you think about Pezibao, and, and what, do you, what do you feel like you contribute to, to the group? Uh, <laughs> I'm not really good with words. Uh, I feel I contribute quite a bit. Uh, I do a lot of the the brass and string sounds and the piano sounds, so uh, an accordion. Uh, so uh, a lot of I pretty much do a lot of the leads for the band. So, you know. awesome. <laughs> if, if if I if I if I may add, um, you know, being. Uh, in this group for 13 years, we've had some talented, great, awesome musicians, and um, we're not the best musicians, um, but what we do as a group, every single one of these guys right here, every single one, all of them, Rainy included, passion. We have it in our heart to play music. We love getting together and playing music. You know, it, it, it's, it, we're not going to get rich, but we enjoy it, and we enjoy it together. And so that's one, one of the things I'm most proud about this group is that um, there's no egos. And like Andres said, it, it's a family. We're all brothers and sisters here, and, and uh, I love these guys and, and girls. Um, you know, I, it's, I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of this band with them. So, um... So I haven't done this before, but let's uh, ask Estella what she thinks when she looks at the the band because I've been in behind the scenes in a lot of bands, but I know it takes a special person to go on the journey with the band themselves, especially if one is your husband. Oh my goodness, you put me on the spot. But all I can say is I'm very proud of this band. Uh, super proud um, of each and every one of you. Uh, my husband Rick, um, like he said, there's been different band members with Festival. Um, they've come and gone, and you know every time it just they don't skip a beat. Every time it's just they just seem to get better. And this group right here, you know, like you know we've all said it, we're family. You know, Danny's not the bass player; he's our brother. You know, Andres isn't either. Rainy's our sister. You know. Tommy's our brother, and Carlos is our brother, and you know, Carlos is, yeah, <laughs> Carlos is our son. So it, it, it's just, it's family, and I'm very, very proud of them, of all their accomplishments. I mean, I can go on for hours just talking about them, but um, I think everybody knows, they've seen where they've gone, where they've been, and I'm super proud of them. Thank you. Is there any last words you want to say, Rick? I just want to thank these guys for sticking with it, sticking with the music. Um, I know I've been a little, a little rough and a little tough on them, um, but in the end, the product that we produce uh, pays off. Um, I don't ask for much because um, I know that if I say, "Hey, you know, let's do this," you know, whether it's a different genre or. You know, we don't just like doing Tejano. We, as you know, we, we like doing a different variety. So everybody's all into it. Everybody has input into it. But uh, in my 13 years, the last 13 years, with the exception of Danny and Eddie, my brothers, these guys right here wouldn't have it any other way. There you guys go. This is your DJ, Manu Loco from TejanoLoco.com Radio. And the Festival Band.